When the pedals come a knocking, there's only two men who can stop them. Starring pedal slayer Chris Hansen and your host, Mr. Gigi. These are the Predator Chronicles. It's about that time. A copyrighted jinx. Welcome to episode three of the Predator Chronicles. That's right, I finally shortened the name because to catch a Predator Chronicles just sounds stupid. Predator Chronicles just goes off the tongue. It's all good. So without further ado, why don't you have a seat? So we're still in Fairfield, Connecticut. We got three more pedals to deal with. We're starting with Jesse Velez, who's engaged. And on this sunny autumn day, my house is your house. He's coming to meet a boy who he thinks just turned 13. Um, 13? This guy looks like he's in fucking college. You couldn't find a lankier guy with a baby face? I look younger than this man child. Hey, uh, Crime Watch, big fan. Let me cut to the chase. Uh, your boy's a free agent, all right? Come on. Pedals love this adorable face. He tells Velaz he's turning 13 in a week. You okay that I'm younger? Yes. Like 13 years old younger, LOL? Never chilled with a young guy before. What, they hire these guys on the fucking street? Budget running low? So first you hired this elderly boy to play a 13 year old. Then apparently you just found two random stoners on campus like... Hey, you guys wanna make a quick buck? Yes. Velez doesn't know it, but there's no kid on the other end of the smartphone. It's really a woman named Lori. On the lowest of keys, in the right situation, Lori can get it. And let me just say this about this kid. Thank you for helping out with the investigation, but you really need to get fired. I mean, shit, I mean, just, just watch. So you wanna stay here? No, not really. You don't wanna stay here? Did you want it? What do you want to do after? Hang out? No. Netflix? Chill? No. What are you, a fucking cop? Who lives here? Who lives here? Oh, I live here. Me, my mommy, and my daddy. Me, my mommy, and my daddy. Jeez, dude. What's a, which one's the pedophile again? This kid was clearly not ready for the most basic of conversations. Just, who lives here? Oh, shit. Oh, I live here. Me, my mommy, and my daddy, and my little sissy, and my doggy Pete. Uh-oh. Velez looks straight at one of our hidden cameras. The decoy moves into distraction mode. Did you want to come look at this? This right here. This is my dad made this. Oh, he did? Yeah. Pretty cool. Want to come look at it? I can't do this shit for much longer. So even though this guy should have walked out after he realized the 13 year old he hit up was actually Santiago from Goal, he sticks around and the pedal slayer makes his grand entrance. What was your plan today? Nothing actually, just to hang out. Just to hang out? Yeah. With a 13 year old boy. Who you sent a picture of your private parts. No, I did it, I did? Yes. Ugh. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, it was right. Yeah. I believe accidentally sending a dick pic. I think we've all been there. But when you do, it usually takes you not even a second to realize. Oh, Jesus, no, 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 no. See, this is why you have to put your dick pics in a specific folder. You can't just have them out and about in your camera roll because then accidents are gonna happen. You gotta have the dick stash, but you can't call it the dick stash and you at least have to have four separate stock photos. So when you look at the album, it shows those photos and then you can say like vacation or some shit. That way nobody clicks on it. Nobody gives a shit about your vacation. Advice from Officer Gigi. Oh my God, I did not know I even sent that. Ugh. Yeah, I did not know that. Who was right? Yeah, usually when I send a picture, like I have a bunch of pictures of me. Right. So I must have hit that, but I didn't really know why. So this was just one big mistake? Yeah, I, pretty much, yeah. So you had a picture of yourself out and about town? Because you used to, like, usually. Driving a car. Yeah, like, usually. The penis pic. Oh, oh, by mistake, I hit the penis pic. Yeah, because I even know. Is it just me, or does Chris seem a bit off? I just see pain behind his eyes. But we all just conversate. We, I mean, there's so many similarities from all different people. It doesn't matter what it is. Jesus, Chris. Take five. Let out some woosahs. You look like you want to leap across the table and fucking choke slam this guy. I don't just meet people randomly and just start. Do you live by yourself? No, I live with my three dogs. So Chris starts leading up to the climax. This guy, calm as ever. You've walked into it. 
Okay. So if there's anything else you want people to know. Can you take the cameras off me, please? I can't at this point. Can I leave? You can leave right out there. Um, okay. This is very awkward and very embarrassing for me. Um, I'll talk to you in private if you like. What is this doing? What is this doing right here? What is, is the, the guy's got fucking four cameras on you and hitting cameras. I'm never able to do this ever again. We'll talk to someone else. I appreciate it. Nothing bad out of this. He's smiling as he leaves. Could he be thinking he just dodged a bullet? I don't think this guy finds the situation too funny. I think he has like RHF. Resting happy face. Oh, where's the exit? Right there, straight ahead. Tell me you saw that shit. He's just like, yeah, right there, straight ahead. Oh, there. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? My name's Chris Hansen, and I'm coming for you. Boy, if you don't get your grown ass back in the fucking room. That's a pretty dope selfie. When you get out of jail, you should use that as your uh, grinder pick. So dude's busted, thrown into interrogation, and he still claims that he wasn't gonna have sex with Santi, but he still nervously tap dances around the questions anyways. Then he says something that breaks our hearts. I meet with a lot of people on that website, numerous people on that website will go hang out, and I actually still talk to people from that website that I actually made friends with. Mm -hmm. I don't have any friends. I have no friends. What? You know what, I actually have a legit question. This guy asked for the decoy's ID, right? So say the decoy gave him his ID and it showed that he was actually 18. Is this guy like turned off now? I don't know. Five years, next. Mike Manzi. I fucking hate this guy. He's my least favorite pedophile we've ran into so far. And yes, I rank the pedophiles. His whole segment spans only a little over 10 minutes, which is short. So he doesn't even offer me a lot of content to work with. But because I hate him so much, I've made it my goal to insult this guy as much as I possibly can. Online, he calls himself Mike Thrilla. He's a self-employed tutor with a bachelor's degree in mathematics from a small New York college. He's obsessed with pizza. These are some of the texts that... Does this guy know what a conversation is? Tomorrow is probably an all day Fast and Furious marathon and I'm definitely buying- Hey, don't I look like Popeye? Yeah, I got my sunglasses on, even though it's slightly dim outside. I look fucking cool, huh? I look like a magician, what's it to you? Are you gonna let me in? Did you bake me cupcakes? I specifically asked for cupcakes. The better be cupcakes. That bit went on for too long. You mind if I just like look around? Oh, don't worry. Okay. Um, but he never calculated that I would be the one behind the curtain. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good. Do you have a seat right on that stool, please? Sure. No, right here, sir. No, no, I, I know. Please, right there. That's right. Sit, please. Okay. Listen. You can chat up underage girls. You can 420 blaze. But don't you dare act like a fucking cunt when Chris tells you to have a seat. Oh, you ears like Spock, baby handed, jigsaw outfit having, cone head, face ass, face ass. Well, I'm, I'm here because I was slightly concerned. Concerned about what? Well, concerned because she's talking to people that are a lot younger, a lot older on the website. So you were gonna search the house just now to make sure they're what? Well, Man, that's I'm and if no one's home, you know he's gonna start spitting game. I'm gonna call you numerator, cause you look better on top. Hey girl, you know what the natural logarithm of X is? Me neither. I just know my log comes first. Now I would say my dick is mean, but it's above average. Well, I mean, I don't know. I can, she could come, she could be here with a group of people for all I know. And she obviously was. So this fucking egotistical piece of shit says that like he just made a point. You know, he, she could be here with a group of people. And she obviously was. <laughs> uh, she's sucking your dick in the back, Chris? Huh? And can we get a little tag team action going on? Huh? With, uh, with some cupcakes? I mean, don't you think? 
Which what? I think that would be like a safe idea. This cocky goblin face fuck. The rest of this segment is actually pretty satisfying to watch. The pedal slayer grills him and he just squirms. What was today's lesson supposed to be? Today, today's lesson for today's me? Today's lesson for you. Today's lesson for me was to not Unfortunately, really worry about other people. Are you starting to see why I hate this prick? Look, may I please leave? Will I be able to leave after your question? Did you blaze? Yes. Sir, are sure. there police outside or anything? I'll get to that. Please, sir. I have a couple more questions for you. Though. I really don't want to answer any more questions. Did you blaze? Please. Come on, you're 32. You got nothing Wait. else to do on a Sunday? I'm trying to watch, I'm gonna watch football. Yeah. Here with a 13 year old girl after you blazed. There's something you is, need to know. Is there cops? I'm There's gonna... something you need to know. Please. I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Is I? No, you're not. Yes, I am. Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. Please let me go home, guys. No. Sir, guys, it'd be best if you oh, went please. out this door. No, because I'm going to get arrested. I know it's going to happen. Please let me go home, guys. No. I'm going to get arrested going that way. Please. Go that way. No, I can't. I can't. I won't. Please. You can't go this way. Please, no, man. You can't go this way. Guys. Ugh. Oh. This is horrible. Hands guys, behind your back. Guys, guys. Just follow the instructions, okay? Just calm down. Just follow the instructions. We'll explain everything. No, just, just, no, just, no, just, no, no, just relax. relax. He continues to bitch and moan to the cops, so they threaten to taser him. And he's like, ah, shit, you right. Oh, uh, I'll send you the links. Look at this lazy fucking bum pedo pose he has. He's getting arrested, doing the right thing. What are you gonna do? So this guy stands by his excuse through interrogation. He tiptoes around the whole smoking marijuana with the 13 year old thing, and just look at this shit. The detectives ask him about a text exchange with Tetrid's decoy when he called who he thought was a 13 year old girl, his soulmate. I'm going to do some yoga later, lol. How's your downward dog? You remember what you said? No, I don't, but you can. How's your downward dog? Well, okay, yeah, but that's a yoga move still, but... It is, but yeah. how's your downward dog? Well, okay, yeah, but you gotta admit, that's pretty good. And you wanna know the worst part of it all? This guy gets the most lenient sentence I've seen to date. Suspended sentence of three years on probation. Because even though he was being a snarky, lying little shit, he ended up saving his own ass because his texts weren't sexual enough to charge him a big boy sentence. So fuck this guy. Next! Hold on, guys, my girlfriend is texting me. She is of age. <laughs> now this last guy is pretty boring. Charles Lawrence. But Charles Lawrence isn't looking to hook up with a 13 year old girl. He's looking for a boy. He says I live alone. On social media, Lawrence calls himself an eight by six guy. The decoy. What, what does an eight by six guy mean? Is that like length and, and then girth? <laughs> what the fuck is that? The conversation quickly becomes sexually charged. I had sex with my ex-girlfriend, nothing with a guy. Gotcha, but you like guys better now? Never tried it, but being with my girlfriend was really awkward. Maybe you need a good teacher. Yeah, you know one? You're talking to him, LOL. School's in session. School's in session. This geezer walks in like, oh shit. What are you, 28? How's your day been so far? Good, good. Yeah. There you go. Some water, you got. So did you bring anything? Oh, I the car. Hey, look at me. I got headphones around my neck because I'm a teenager that likes to enjoy my music. He believes he's come to this house to meet a 13 year old boy after exchanging salacious text messages like these. I don't know what salacious means, but that shit's going in my vocabulary. But Chris is actually pretty shocked when he sees him, because... That's right. The guy from Up is a pedophile. Apparently Chris knows this guy because he's met him on the train years ago. When Lawrence sees me, he bolts, gripped in sheer panic. What are you doing here? Chris, please. I know, but we'll, we'll, you'd have to explain this to right. Come here, man. He runs out the door. He's fingerprinted and he gives his consent to allow cops to search his SUV. Want me to, uh, I'll do this side? Yeah, this one. Okay. Cops find cigarettes, condoms, and a gay porn video called Seattle Bareback Boys. Seattle Bareback Boys. Let's move on. So now that he's being interrogated, what excuse do you think this guy's gonna use? A. He thought the legal age in America was 13. B. He blamed it on his bad eyesight. C. He claimed he was just gonna burn the kid a copy of Seattle Bareback Boys. Or D. He wanted to be his gay mentor. The answer is B. 
32 plus 13 adds up to trouble. Want a water or something? Do you play? Do you play? Did you play? Did you play? Did you play? Did you play? You're my soulmate. Wow, you are so cute. Hopefully, soapy. What do you like to watch? Do you watch porn? Me, 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 I thought it said 18. I don't have any friends. I have no friends. Of course not. Of course Again, not. you see how this works. You want a drink? You want some water? The on-site decoy looked a little older than 13. Cool was in session. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Kneel down. down. LOL, LOL. LOL. Like this creep, Seattle bareback boy. Uh, Okay, okay. Are you a cop or involved in law enforcement? Gotta be careful. Want a water or something? Do you play? Do you play? Did you play? Did you play? Did you play? Yes. How's your downward dog? Some would say it's not stiff enough, Chris. Some would say it's not stiff enough. And that's actually going to conclude episode three of the Predator Chronicles. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe because I have more content coming your way. As always, I am your host, Mr. Gigi, the pedal slayer, Chris Hansen, and we are out. Are you less than 90 degrees? Because you a cute ass girl. I'm going to be looking at two polyhedrons once I'm done splitting that box. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Sorry, you just reminded me because you are so fine.